Uh, good morning. I'm Dr. Ko. I'm the uh, member of Parliament for Kampa. Okay. Uh, this morning, I just want to follow up on the PC I did two weeks ago about the cut in the funding for the government hospitals. After the tabling of the budget, I gone through the uh, budget allocation for the Ministry of Health, and I noticed over the weekend there is going to be a 24% cut in the cost per perception in the Ministry of Health hospitals. Prior to the tabling of the budget 2017, it was reported in the newspaper and online media that many government hospitals face a shortage of funds due to an increased volume of patients. The DG and the Minister of Health both acknowledged the problem and actually had uh, mentioned that whichever hospital that had shortage of funds can appeal and request for further funding from the ministry and they will be given. And then on Friday, where two weeks ago, our finance minister and prime minister Najib, Tadusri uh, Najib, tabled the budget and that show a slight increase in the allocation for the Ministry of Health from 23 billion to 24.8 billion ringgit. There is an increase of 1.8 billion, which is equivalent to 7.8% increase in funding. The total number of prescriptions for both outpatients and inpatients are estimated to increase by 6.99% according to the budget book from 71 million 790,000 in 2016 to 76 million 810,000 in 2017 on page 469. It appears there will be enough additional allocation for the government hospitals to purchase medicines for next year. Unfortunately, if you look at the numbers uh, carefully, analysis of the details show a nightmarish situation for the doctors, nurses and patients. Under Putiran 032200, Pharmacy Tampakalan and Code 200000, the allocation has been reduced by 18.98% from 1,595,601,600 ringgit to 1,292,761,700 ringgit. That is a reduction of 302 million ringgit in the Pekalan uh, Tantohimatan for the pharmacy to purchase medicine. If you look at the table that I show you, it's all from the budget book. There's nothing secret here. The Jumla prescription, uh, prescription, the total number of prescription will increase from 71 million to 76 million. That's an increase of 6.99%. But the total uh, budget for the Perimatan and Pekalan will drop by 18%. The cost per prescription would go from 22 ringgit 23 cents in 2016 to 16 ringgit 83 cents in 2017. That is an, a reduction of 24% next year per prescription. The average cost per prescription is going to be uh, so little 16.83 per prescription for each patient. This is a massive 24% cut. This amount of money may not be enough to buy three meals a day in Malaysia. The cost of medicine is now higher because of the GST and the weaker ringgit. If you go to pharmacy to buy one bottle of vitamins or supplements, it will cost you more than that. And the doctors are expected to give a month's supply of medicine you know, to patients with diabetes and high blood, sugar, high blood pressure on 56 cents a day. That is less than a ringgit a day to treat patients with life-threatening illnesses. It was announced earlier this year, government already cut the budget by 300 million this year. 
So next year, the government is going to cut the budget for medicine by another 300 million. And you look at the number in the book, there will be an additional 5 million prescriptions to be given next year. So you get extra 5 million patients to treat, but you are faced with another 300 million ringgit reduction in the budget. And to rub salt into the wound, the Prime Minister announced in China they are going to buy 10 uh, uh, literal mission ships from China at the cost of 300 million ringgit each, at the total cost of 3 billion. Why are we buying the, sh ship, uh, the ships? That is going to you know, cost so much money when the government hospital needs the money to buy the medicine. The cost of one boat alone is enough to buy one month supply of essential medicine at 20 ringgit cost per patient for 15 million patients. 15 million patients. That is half the population of Malaysia. What is the point? So clearly, the Minister of uh, Finance and Prime Minister are not looking, or he is not looking after the health of the nation by cutting the funding per prescription by 24% next year. One year reduction of 24%. So I urge the Raya and all the MPs to reject this budget tabled by the government because clearly it lacks compassion for the sick and the ill in this country. Thank you. Any questions? For prescription can be for a few days, even before a month. If you go to the government hospital, you've got type of patient diabetes, they have to give you every day for a month. Minimum the prescription should be at least one month. You cannot go every two weeks. Sometimes they give even two months, three months before that. But if you just estimate one month, 16 ringgit is 56 cents. You got high blood pressure and diabetes, you have to give every day. Just an estimate. Because some of them actually take more than two months, three months. It's just a rough estimate. Government hospital, right? They give out a lot of medicine, medicine for the patient. Some, some of the patient receive more than more than enough. Doesn't it cut maybe prevent the wastage? Well, if you read the news this year, there already shortage of funds to buy medicine and to do blood tests. And next year, the budget will be cut by three hundred million. Ah, oh, sorry. But uh, next year, the budget is going to be cut by 300 million and they're expecting additional uh, 5 million prescriptions to be given. And the cost of medicine is higher. We cannot expect the hospital and the doctors to cope. You look at 16 ringgit per prescription. You can't buy anything more than a bottle of cock medicine or a few panadols. You know, a uh, blood pressure medicine easily costs 1 or 2 ringgit a tablet a day. And that is not sufficient. So the government is cutting down the budget when they have more patients. It's not correct. And the, the funding is already so low, 22 ringgit per prescription before that. You cannot cut it down by 24%. It's ridiculous. It's inhumane. It's not caring. It's not compassionate. It's cruelty to mankind. Uh, by the number of total prescriptions, inpatient and outpatient. Imagine if you have to buy medicine for cancer, it's very expensive. Some uh, tablet for cancer is 200 ringgit, 300 ringgit one tablet. And that's every day. Okay, thank you.